Today I want to share with you from 2 Corinthians chapter 7, and I want to share with you about repentance and godly grief. Now, if you hear the word repentance, I think many of us think about an individual. We think about a person who has done something wrong or committed a sin, and that person, maybe you, maybe me, but an individual who needs to turn around, which is what repentance is. It's not just an emotion. It's not a feeling. Repentance is a change of direction. Um, but what Paul's writing about in 2 Corinthians is not an individual experiencing repentance, but an entire congregation, a church. And listen to 2 Corinthians chapter 7. I'm going to add verse 9 to verse 10. Paul writes, Now I rejoice. Not because you were grieved, but because your grief led to repentance, for you felt a godly grief, so that you were not harmed in any way by us. For godly grief produces a repentance that leads to salvation and brings no regret, but worldly grief produces death. And so let's think about that for a couple minutes. Uh, godly grief leads to repentance. Uh, one of the ways I like to think of, uh, think of it is that uh, grief is good if it leads to repentance. If we just kind of wallow around in the mud like the prodigal son in the pigsty, uh, wallowing around in the mud is no way to get clean. That's <laughs> the way I like to say it. And, but godly grief is grief that causes us not only to feel badly or to feel guilty or to feel shame, it's grief that causes us to change the direction of our life, to change our attitude, our behavior, our speech, our actions, our thinking. And that's what Paul is getting at. Godly grief produces repentance, which leads to salvation, which leads to hope and to transformation, and it brings no regret. Uh, what a gift it must be to get through a day, even, with no regret about how we've lived, what we've said, what we've done, the choices we've made, uh, how we've related to the important people in our life. And so that's what Paul is connecting. Godly grief leads to repentance. Godly grief leads to repentance that leads to salvation, and that leads to living without regrets. Uh, I believe it was D.L. Moody who said, always remember the end of your life and then you will never sin. In other words, always think about the fact that you and I are accountable to God and uh, we're going to have to give an accounting for how we've lived our life in Christ. And taking every day a little time to repent, confess, turn to God is the way to live free from guilt and to live with joy and contentment.